So this is the E1000 by Flammer. So I've got another camera over here. I'm just gonna bring it over to there. So as you can see, you've got your normal volume and tone, and then you've got a third one, and this one is actually the intelligent part. This connects to the Flammer app, and you've got 78 different effects, 40 drum loops, and there's even a looper on board. What's really clever is you Bluetooth over your four favorites, and you can change between them. And you don't even need the app connected while you're playing, but if you do have it connected, it means you've got access to all of them. It's a 22 fret electric guitar. The neck is a roasted maple wood with a satin finish, a standard C shape, and the fingerboard is rosewood. The body itself is poplar with a gloss finish and is available in vintage white, which is what this is. You've got pearl black, fiesta red, cyber yellow, and daphne blue. The two different pickups here on the neck, we've got a single coil neck pickup, and we've also got a humbucker pickup on the bridge. Now we're actually connected by normal jack, but as you can see right here, this has actually got a couple of different things. So you've got the jack, you've also got a mini jack for headphones, and then you've also got USB-C. There's a battery inside here, and you need to charge it to use the effects. However, if it was completely flat and you just plugged it in, it would sound just like a normal guitar. It's a 2600 milliamp battery, which gives you up to eight hours of use, although that will go down if you're permanently connected to the app. Now the app itself is really simple, from the home, you just scan for a barcode, which is on the activation when you unlock it, or you can just obviously turn on the Bluetooth on your phone. This has Bluetooth built in, it starts searching for it, and you can see mine is connected. You can just go into it, and then straight away, what you're into is the first cab. You can see it says 1A there. If I either press this one, or if I just press this button, you'll see it switches over to 1B. Press it again, we go to 1C. And then if we go again, we go to 1D, which is the lead. If we press it again, we go back to 1A. However, that is just the first four. If I give this a click on the app, I can go through preset zero, all the way through to preset nine, giving you lots of different sounds. Let's go to 8A. If you pick 8A, then it's going to go to 8B, C, and D on the button here. Now on the app, I can actually go through a couple of different things. So I'm on a preset 0B, which is preset clean. Although it doesn't sound completely clean because we've got an amp, a mod, a delay, and a reverb. Now at any point I can just tap. So without having anything on, this is the normal tone of the guitar. Now this is a clean completely without any sounds whatsoever. On, on the app, we've got amp, mod, delay, and reverb. You can see this is clean preset. If I turn these back on though, let's start with the amp. So first of all, this is the RLDJ20. And then I can actually tap where it says the little arrow there, and I can pick any other amp that I want. However, if you actually pick the name, you can go into it and you can mess around with it a little bit. So you've got the gain, the bass, the mid, the treble, the presence, and the master. And we can go back and change it over. There's an overdrive. And we can play around with the EQ a little bit. You can do the same for the mod, the delay, and the reverb. So if I pick the mod, we can change around the rate, the mix, the tone, and the depth. And this is the Anna Chorus. So let's change it over to a Q filter. 
and you can see that the settings have changed depending on what you're using. If I then go over to the delay, we've got an analog delay. And you can see it's got level, feedback, and time. But we've got a couple of different things. We've got reverse there. So let's go back to reverse. Remember, I've still got the amp and the mod on at the same time. And then the final one is reverb. So let's turn the reverb on. We can ever go to a couple of different ones. We've got five different ones to choose from. Let's use the spring one, which is quite cool. Let's have a look. We've got pre-delay, level, decay, and tone. Now you can either press the name or you can just press the little spanner on the side there. And that'll do the same thing just by pressing the name or the spanner then you've got a little bit extra to play around with. You can also rename stuff. So you can see there's a pencil at the top right hand corner there. So if I give the pencil a tap, I can give it a name, but then I need to give it a location. So if I give it a location, I can pick any of these locations and kind of override them as it were. You'll see right at the top of the app, you've got a cloud. And what you can do is you can actually log in and you can save your presets to Flammer's cloud, which is really, really cool. There's a couple of things with settings. You could do cab simulation. So we've got that switched on. We can turn that off. So what this does by turning the cab simulation on, it says global control to match the different audio devices by presetting the cabinet simulation switch. You can say whether the smart guitar actually goes into an idle or a standby mode to help you save battery. You'll also see that there's an arrow right at the very top here. If we click this arrow, it's also where I can log in and I can send my sound to somewhere else. I can either send it to my account and then I can download different ones. At the bottom, you've got wireless FST. You've got the Bluetooth, which is on. So it's sending the signal over and it's telling you what to do. That's a really weird sound. Let's go back over to there and then we can go back to there and that, that will change it. If you haven't saved it and you change presets, be aware, of course, it's not going to be saved. So it's going to go back to the original. The Bluetooth, if I actually tell it to turn off if I disconnect the Bluetooth, then it will stay on the last preset it's on. So it's on zero right now, one zero B, then you've got zero C, D, and then back to A. Let me just turn the Bluetooth off. So I'll turn that off right now. And then the app's gonna actually just go back. Now, I can still get to the four, the four ones. So you've got red, green, blue, and then purple. So you can still play this without the app running you don't have to have the app running if you don't want to so if you've got your four favorite guitar sounds they're there you just press it and away you go so if we go to tools which is at the bottom right hand corner we've got looper stroke drummer so we've got a looper here we can start recording straight away and then sync that and you've also got a drummer and you can sync that with the looper if you want to so we've got a couple of different beats here there's over 40 different ones so let's use this one that's fine and we'll just play that so there's our drummer, and then if we hit record, it's gonna give me a one, two, three, four. Two, three, and. Okay, so we've recorded our four bars in. So if we now just hit play, I can overdub it as well. So we've got a record button here. We just overdub over the top. I can stop the drummer independently, which is really cool. Let's go. And then if I stop the loop, it stops everything, which is really, really cool. Now, the great thing about this is it's a one-track looper. There's no one to do, unfortunately, but uh, it's a one-track looper. We can play with it. We've got a trash can there. As soon as we hit the trash can, that loop's gone. It's gone back to 80 seconds and you're back to the beginning.
The other thing that you've got as well is you've got a tuner. So this is great because it's on board and we can even mute it as well. So while I'm tuning, you can't hear what I'm doing, but it's still tuning. If I need to tune it up, we can bring it back again and you can change what hertz it is as well. Set at 440, of course. Now, if you're using that flower guitar to make music and you want to put it out there in the world, then you need to look at today's sponsor, which is DistroKid. DistroKid is a music distribution company where you give your songs to them and they push it out to all the online stores and digital streaming sites around the world. Now you've got the big ones like Spotify and Apple Music, Pandora, Tidal, Deezer, Amazon Music, but you've also got ones you've probably never even heard of from all around the world. There's actually over 160 different music streaming sites now. As well as all them, you've also got Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Snapchat, YouTube Music, and all the different social sites where people can use your music in their reels and stories and you get paid. Now, a lot of music distributors actually charge you every time you release some music. But DistroKid have never done this, they charge you a subscription. One price per year to release as much music as you want to. And I do mean as much as you want to. You can bring out an album with up to 35 tracks on, and you can bring out as many albums as you wanted to. I did a live stream, took the audio from that, and then released that as an album called Looping My Brain by John Paul. You can release singles, EPs, LPs, it's entirely up to you. You can even release covers. I've done two. I've done Everlong by Foo Fighters and a Christmas Carol of the Bells tune, and they help you get the licensing for that, which is an additional cost, but you can do it, and that's the important thing. DistroKid have a couple of different tiers. So you've got the normal musicians one, you've got musicians plus, and you've got label. Now I'm on the middle one, I'm a musicians plus, which is $39.99 a year. The normal one is $22.99 a year. And then the label one starts at around $80 going upwards, depending on how many artists you're gonna be producing. Now there's a link in the description box, which will actually give you 7% off your first annual membership with DistroKid. It's also that QR code. So scan the QR code or click the link. And also it'll take you to the website and you can learn a little bit more about what they do and how they can help an independent artist like me and yourself release as much music as you want to. It's actually really, really easy. Thank you very much to DistroKid for sponsoring this video. Let's have a look at the pros and a couple of cons with this guitar. Now, the nice thing about this guitar is it's got lots of different things you can do with it. First of all, everything you've just heard, absolutely everything, has just come out of the quarter inch jack. All the effects, the drum loops and the loop app are generated from here. So the loop, the drums, everything's just come out of there. Now I've got this plugged into my audio interface. However, what I can do is I can actually plug my headphones into here because we've got a mini jack. So if I wanted to practice on the go, I could do that. I don't need to plug it into an amp. I don't need to plug it into a digital audio workstation. I can just plug it in right here and practice on the go. Maybe you take it on holiday with you. Maybe you take it uh, to a practice session. You wanna just tweak the sound slightly, you can do that. The idea behind this is to build up your favorite four sounds that you want. So maybe you've got a clean sound, a distorted, a really weird sound, and then a delay sound or a reverse or something like that and then save that on the app. Then what you've got is you've got access to those four sounds. However, you can then also, if you want to, then change it over to another set of four sounds. That way, it's not getting too complicated. You've got four sounds, and if your brain goes, the red one is the distorted, and the blue one is the reverse, it becomes really, really easy. The other option you can do is it's Bluetooth. So with the app, what you can do is you could actually play a track and then send that track out through the guitar so you're playing a backing track. So all you need is a phone and your guitar and a speaker and you're good to go. Alternatively, we can plug this in by USB type C to your phone or your computer or your tablet. And then this is an audio interface. So then you could capture the sound of this without even needing a traditional jack cable. Now the other nice thing about this as well, a lot of things now come with internal batteries and you can't actually get to them. If we flip this over, you can actually get to the internal battery and you can replace it. Now, my experience with this has been quite limited. However, it's been quite fun because we can actually play around with it. The action's really, really nice, except for one thing. Within 20 minutes of playing with this, I snapped a string. I snapped the top string. These are not the strings you get with them. These strings are the Daddario NYXLs. Really durable strings made by Daddario. I always use Daddario on my other guitars on my acoustics, so I'm gonna use them on an electric as well. I feel very comfortable playing with them because I play quite heavy-handed, I play a lot of rhythm. So I think they're a better string set for me, personally. Obviously, if you're 
a solo guitarist or you're a lot lighter because I've come from an acoustic guitar background, then you may find that the strings on this that come with it are perfectly fine for you. So this is the sound of the guitar without the uh, effects turned on. I've actually turned them off as you can see there. Uh, so if I completely turn them off, this is... got the tone and the volume up a 10. So then when I turn this on, this volume kind of goes off. It doesn't go off, it's still the volume, but so if I turn this on, you can see it'll flash and then it's up and running. And if I turn that all the way up, we've still got control of tone and We've still got control over the whole volume and that's all fine so if i turn this all the way down but it's still on there's no sound and then if we turn this back up there's also a part where if i bring this all the way down all of a sudden it just cuts off so if you're looking to get a better sound for bringing it down to zero, it's better to leave that up and then use... the main volume. So just a couple of things to be aware of there. One of the things to be aware of with these kind of guitars, you can play it obviously into a normal amp, but you'd have to use that without the effects. The reason I'm saying this is because this has got a cab, an amp, effects all built in and then you're putting that into an electric cab or electric amp so you're actually getting two different kinds of amp so what would be really good is to have the effects like you'd have as the paddles but without the amp of course you can do that you can turn the amp off but if you've left the amp on and then you plug it into an amp you're going to get this really high distorted sound that i am not going to play for you because it just sounds horrible because you're actually putting it through an amp and then through an amp. Of course, this is all digital, so I put everything up to maximum. You might be able to hear what sounds like digital crickets. So the question is, what do I think of this? Well, actually, I like the design. I like the cutaway. I like the fretboard. I think it's really playable. I've changed the strings, obviously, and then having this availability of lots of different sounds just at your fingertips is fantastic. What I'd really like to see is an update to the app so you can customize the effects a little bit more and then also user presets or maybe even playlists. That would be a really, really cool thing to add on. Two different pickups with a nice saddle there. It plays really nicely. The action is nice. It's adjustable as well with the neck truss. So it's a really playable, nice guitar. The app is really simple to use. And for those people who are jumping into intelligent guitars for the first time, it's a really nice thing to play around with. The other addition to this that you can get with it is the C4. The C4 is an additional purchase, but it's a wireless foot switch, which will connect wirelessly to the guitar so you can control the effects with your feet. Being able to change the presets in real time without having to press that button. Effects, drums, looper, all built in with a battery and being able to customize those effects as well is really, really important depending on what kind of style you're playing. And the retail price for this is 399. However, it's just dropped in price to 319 in some places. For example, Tomum have got them for 319. So there's a link in the description box if you want to go and pick one of these up. That will take you over to the Tomum website. And don't worry, Tomum will ship internationally as well. I'd like to thank Flammer for sending this out to me. I think it's a really, really cool piece of kit. Now, if you're a singer-songwriter and you're using this guitar, there's a pedal by Flammer that every singer-songwriter should have. And that's this video right here. You need to look at this because it's just an amazing pedal.